It's tacos, 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 and more. Taco Fest produced by Art is Healing Foundation is back this weekend. Yes, we're excited for this, and we're on your block in Novi ahead of the festival to show you some local salsa that's sure to make any dip envious. Troy, you're going to do a little taste test for us this morning. Oh, yes, we are. I am here with Paul from Jose Madrid Salsa. Jose Madrid. We appreciate you very much for being here, first well, of all. thank you for having me on. And we're talking about Taco Fest. We're going to have all kinds of tacos, but also salsa, so we're going to start with the salsa how many different kinds do you have well normally we have 25 to 28 different types okay I brought 12 today okay I brought I don't think they got a stupid hot out but oh yeah we do right here the okay. stupid hot's right there all right stupid hot we're gonna try that in a minute I want you to tell me really how did hot. this all get started this is the third year right um, yeah, the taco festival. Mm -hmm. Well, they started being the Mexican uh, heritage thing, and then they just took off. Okay. And there's a few taco festivals now. All right. But so this, this is the one original. In, the original in Novi is coming up. So tell me, how did the actual sauces that you guys come up with start? These recipes, these different well, flavors. They come out of Clovis, New Mexico. Okay. They're New Mexico style salsa. Okay. And that was Jose Madrid. Now Michael Zach and his grandson um, made them in his been doing them for 35 years. Okay. And now, so, how does that happen? How are you able to make each of these different ones taste different? Because you know, I you don't of, know. You think it's <laughs> <laughs> you think of the different ingredients. I don't know how Michael does it, right? But he's because been, you think tomato and the peppers uh, and all the things. So yeah. it's amazing. And they're small batch items. Uh -huh. The peppers, the natural ingredients change all the time. So sometimes some they're hotter than others. Yeah. And da, 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 but yeah. I'm sure they have secrets too. They don't really want you to know the recipe. The right? recipes are secret, right? For sure. So have you seen any of it been made before? Have I've, you seen the process? I've been forced to cook it myself. Really? Tell me a little bit about that process. Well, 50 gallon vats of tomato sauce. They're stainless steel and we, we boil it and then can it. It's good for three years on the shelf, okay. eight months in the fridge. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about some of the ones that you have here. You said this one is, this is the hottest one. Is that That's right? That's the hottest one. That's the one I don't think you'd like All to right, try. All right. Listen, I'm going to take your advice. <laughs> if you say I don't need to try this, then I won't. Tell me, what is this called again? That's the double X. The double I X. I call it the stupid hot. Okay. I, stupid hot. I'm going to just set that aside. If Chris wants to try it, any of the ladies, they can. Now tell I'm me about the I'm going to leave all these for yeah, you guys. Yeah. What else do you well, have? Well, we have my favorite right here, the pineapple habanero. Okay. That's right I've here. got a cherry hot. That's okay. a Michigan cherry. Okay. Wow. Um, so very Put pretty much anything in it and well, then make you a know, salsa. Well, you know, with the cherry, I, it took a long time to get them to make that one. They okay. need FDA approval and everything, mm -hmm. And uh, but it, I really like it. It's, okay. it. it's on the milder side of the hots, okay. but it's, it's warm. So the cherry, what else do you have? You have this one that you said? Well, no, I've got cilantro, okay. I've got a mango habanero, oh, wow. I've got a, a verde hot that's mm -hmm. very nice. My two best sellers, black bean and corn, roasted garlic. Okay. And we've got some fruit flavors down here. And then we had the original mild. Okay. It's a puree. I make it in a chunk also. Wow. I think I would like all of these that you say are the most uh, I'm gonna popular. Leave, I'm going to leave these for you all day. Okay. You <laughs> can snack you. on them all day. We're definitely going to do that. So if people want to try this, are there going to be labels that say the danger value? Exactly. On these? If they you look, say it? <laughs> there's a little thermometer on okay. the side that tells you how okay. spicy it is. I love and, that. And we'll be at the taco festival and everyone can sample all of them. Okay. If you come in and sample every one of them, I'll give you a free jar. I love that. Okay. <laughs> Tell us if people want to go and see all of this and be a part of Taco Fest, how can they They're do gonna it? They're going to go to Novi at okay. the 12 Oaks Mall. It's going to be in the back by the Imagine Theater. Okay. And uh, it's from Friday to Sunday. What is I'm not sure of the okay. hours. Okay. But go on site. Go on, on the web. You'll be able to see it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Paul. We're so excited about Taco Fest. We're going to have some more later, and we're going to taste the tacos No, I'd like to bit. say there's going to be 30 taco, 30 to 40 taco trucks, okay. 20 bands, okay. big-time wrestling. Oh, um, got everything. A lot of things going on. I love it. So, thank you so much. All right. Paul, it's going to be a great event. We've got another segment coming up. We're on your block on this Monday in Novi where it's tacos, 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 and even more tacos. Taco Fest is back this weekend. Troy tried the salsa a bit earlier in our show. And now, Chris, you're going to taste test some award-winning tacos. I sure am. It's taco heaven over here. I'm with Osvaldo from Pablo's Tacos. So glad you came in this morning and brought all those stuff. Tell us a little bit about Pablo's Tacos. Uh, so we've been open since 2017. Me and my father started it back up. And uh, we brought some food, delicious food here for you guys. We got some flour tacos. Corn, chicken, steak, got a burrito there for you guys, a super quesadilla. 
Looking we also good. have some of our salsas here for you guys. Now you make these salsas in house? Yes. Okay, so what kinds do you have? With so you? this is our salsa verde, which is a mild. This is like more like a medium. It's a guacamole salsa, and this is our hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yep. That's uh, you got to stay away from that, huh? Nah, not nah, too hot it's, for it's many. Not yeah. too hot. Not, not too, too hot. hot. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I'll have to try it a little later. Yeah. Now tell us about the taco fest you'll be taking part in. There's a lot going on down. There definitely is going to be a lot going on this weekend. Uh, there's going to be three competitions also going on. There's going to be a hot pepper eating contest. There's also going to be a a cute dog contest, I believe, and also it's be a taco. Uh, and, and a taco eating taco contest. Eating yeah, contest, yeah. So it? it's gonna definitely be a great weekend. It's gonna be a lot of music going on, mm -hmm. a lot of tacos. Obviously, there's gonna be 30 to 40 food trucks. Yeah. So it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a lot of family fun, things for the kids, a lot of stuff going on. Luchador wrestling as well. Yeah. You always got to have a little wrestling yeah. in there. Now you mentioned corn and flour tortillas. Do you have a preference, or do they go different with different dishes? Uh, it just depends on, on your liking. I mean, this is more of your traditional street like taco, right? Like your corn tortilla, mm -hmm. a little bit different. This one is still very good. I mean, they're the ones with lettuce, tomato, onion, and cilantro. Uh, this is more of your traditional taco, though. Okay. Yep. Now, what are you stuffing in your burrito here? That looks like it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got a lot of stuff going on there, yes. Yeah. So we have uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, cilantro, sour cream, cheese, pinto beans, rice, and meat of, meat of uh, which one? Whatever meat you'd like. So there's grilled chicken in there. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. And the quesadillas? Yep, that's a super quesadilla. So lettuce, tomato, onion, cilantro, melted cheese, and that one has steak. Okay, let's talk about some of the drinks. I see some Modelo, some Corona. You're also yes. making up some uh, margaritas. Yeah, some you? margaritas. I mean, that's more just like for the Taco Fest, so you guys know that there's also going to be some alcohol there for you guys. There's going to be, we have, there's going to be Coronas there, Modelos, uh, these drinks, that, so that we got the Fantas, Mexican Cokes, Jaritos for you guys as well. Yeah, well, what's it, Jaritos? Jaritos, yes. Oh yeah, I know, they're very colorful and uh, got a lot of flavors with those. Yes, exactly. yeah, they're really good. They pair perfectly with tacos. Now, you said you started the truck back up with your father, so were you always uh, making tacos in the kitchen, or how did yes, that work? Yes, yeah, so my dad actually started the first taco truck in Southwest Detroit back in 1995. That used to be called Los Unicos. And we started this one back up in 2017. All right. Okay. Yes. No details on the Taco Fest. Where do people go to taste some of these tacos? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, right, right at the Taco Fest, there's going to be 30 to 40 trucks. There are going to be all over the park there. So mm -hmm. pretty much any way you look, there's going to be trucks there. That's right. And it's in yeah. Novi, and it's coming up, and it's going to be a great old time. Yes. Excellent. Hey, thanks a lot for stopping by, Osvaldo. Really appreciate it. I know. Thank you guys for having us.